Praise Yahweh, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And uh, we're going to be doing our uh, uh, Friday night Shabbat here. And we're going to start off with our prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, thank you for blessing us so much with uh, Yeshua. And thank you for this Sabbath day, Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad, Baruch Shem Kivu, Mahuto, Le'olam ba'es. Hero Israel. Yahweh is our Elohim. Yahweh is one. And you should love Yahweh with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And have these words which I command you this day be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you retire, and when you rise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand. And let them be frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates. Hallelujah, everybody. Praise Yah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the sun is going down earlier these days, but it's still light outside here. But the Shabbat is here. And last week we started at 9 o'clock uh, because I had a bunch of special guests here. And it seemed to have worked better. More people were able to get on. Maybe it's still too early in California. So I'm just eating my miracle fruit here. Maybe we'll do that next week. Uh, get on at 9 o'clock instead of 8. But praise y'all we're here. What a week it's been for me and for my family. And uh, yes, my uh, little Abraham. Uh, praise y'all. What a blessing that is. And thank you. Thank you. Before we get into this evening, if anyone would like to open up with a song, come join us on the Zoom link and open up with a song uh, if you'd like. And uh, welcome to everybody that's here joining us. Thank you all for your, your blessings and your, your thank yous. And uh, just everybody, just, just for your, your prayers. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we are blessed. And I have a whole new respect for for hospitals and nurses and doctors and and just it was a blessed ble just everything everything has been a blessing and uh, praise Yah praise Yah and uh, tonight we're here we're gonna have great fellowship here tonight so if you have prayer requests or praise reports uh, just uh, post them uh, and we'll, we'll we'll post them but uh, let's open up with songs if anyone wants to sing a song. Uh, we have Brother Tom that's getting on right now, and praise y'all. So I'm thinking, even though we go over anyway, next week we'll start at uh, at uh, nine o'clock possibly. So Brother Tom has time to get here, uh, who's an hour behind us, uh, but uh, he's getting on here now. Uh, and praise y'all, everybody. Uh, Show Israel, uh, what's up, brother? I have a song, brother. Oh, great, great. Brother Show's going to open up, and uh, Tom just joined us. Uh, Brother Tom, I was going to tell him next week we're going to start at 9, because last week it was nice, and we go over time anyway, and uh, and that'll give you more time <laughs> to get here. So. Sounds uh, good. But, uh, yes, go ahead, Brother Show, and then we're going to hear from Brother Tom. Yes, sir. Um, happy here Yahweh. Happy here Yahweh. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of need not seen. Just have faith in Yahweh, walk in faith in Yahweh. For faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Trust in Yahweh's power. Hold to his word. 
for the word is forever. Just hold to the word of Yahweh. Just have faith, have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Have faith, have faith. Walk in that faith in Yahweh, and he will see you through your trial, tribulation. Have faith in Yahweh. Just hold to the word of Yahweh, and you will overcome all things. Just have faith. Just have faith. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yah, brother. Hallelujah. Great, great song. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Thank you, brother Shaul. Yes, we keep you lifted up in prayer. Everybody keep this brother lifted up in prayer. Yes, and, sir. God uh, be perfect. Yah. Thank you, brother Shaul. And we'll talk to you in a little while. Uh, thank you for getting up here and singing and open up. And uh, and, and praise Yah. Praise Yah. Yes. Little Abraham's not that little. Uh, uh, brother Al says praise Yah because he had a daughter that was nine pounds and 21 inches. Uh, and uh, wow, praise Yah. Abraham was nine pounds, three ounces, and 22 inches. Uh, and just a little big boy. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just a blessing. And uh, I'm, I'm so blessed. Uh, last week, Brother Tom was out here, Brother Will was here, uh, two great brothers. and. Uh, and uh, thank you for both being here tonight as well, Brother Will and Sister Liz. And, and just I had the time of my life last week. It was just amazing to have two of my great brothers here. So let's say hello to Brother Tom, who got back home safely. Shalom, Brother Tom. Shabbat shalom and praise Yah. I made it home safe. And I just want to say, I, I don't think I've ever heard Shaul sing. And that was really wonderful. You have a, you have a wonderful voice, Shaul. Um, but... Anyway, it is the Shabbat, and I'm so happy to be here. Uh, what a great time we had in Florida, Brother Paul. Um, man, the mangoes. I, I, what can I say? The mangoes. <laughs> you know, I've been doing some research, and uh, I do a lot of research on uh, fruit, vegetables, uh, things that come from the garden. So I'm, I'm into mangoes now, of course. So <clears throat> I never really looked into the details of all the benefits. Man, there are so many benefits, like 10, if not more, of wonderful stuff that is good for the body, for immune system, to eyes, to vitamin A, to vitamin C. Brother Paul, it's, it's gold. What you have in your backyard, it's gold. <laughs> yeah, so it's Brother Tom got to see my yard. Tell him about my yard, my jungle. Oh, my. Oh, my. You guys, you know, talk about fruit trees. It's, it's a tropical paradise. You got trees everywhere. <laughs> we had, we had yeah. such, what's that? You didn't see them. I just went out today and I got five big watermelons growing. All right. Well, I saw the one you know, when we walked by, but it must have got bigger, huh? Yeah, I don't know when to pick them. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I have no experience with watermelons either. I grew them one other time before and I picked them all too soon. Oh, really? So they weren't ripe? Yeah, they were big. I figured they were ripe, but they weren't. But now I'm going to wait. Somebody told me when the, the stem is dried, that's when you pick them. Right. And, and watermelon is really good for you, too. There's like so many benefits from watermelon. But whatever is in there is really good for your body and the immune system as well. So I think it's really important with this, with the colds that are going around right now, because obviously with, with the government spraying things and putting stuff in our food and our water and in the air, you know, people are going to get a cold. So the idea is to go to the garden uh, and, and get the fruit and the vegetables and take care of your body. It's the best way to do it. Right, Brother Paul? Hallelujah. 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 So Brother Tom, tell us about... Uh, the camp, because I, I've been okay. telling everyone about this leadership camp for children uh, that for the longest time, and uh, Brother Tom, the only one whose son said, I want to go to that, and went. And next year, I'm telling you, you all have to go. My daughter went for the first year and had a great time. Yes, I'm glad that Noah had a good experience. And Nicholas, um, by the way, you know, when you're driving in a car, if you're not listening to praise music, it can, it can be kind of boring sometimes when you're looking at outside the window, even though I, I enjoy that. But, you know, Nicholas, he, got, he caught a cold on the way home, but he was still able to um, give us, like, I don't know, 10 hours of, of, of just topics, like talking, like what he learned. 
so much good information, like 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 textbook information from these speakers that normally get paid lots of money to do this, but they, they came and taught the children for free. Boy, what an enlightenment. What we were so awake. I mean, was, the, the road trip went by like that, Brother Paul. And, and what a blessing my son received and, and he gave it to us. And I learned some stuff from just him talking, Brother Paul. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's really good. The TLT Center uh, conference was awesome. And uh, I'm going to have Nicholas come on here in a little bit and talk about it tonight. Well, you know, one day he's moving to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I think all my kids are. <laughs> yes, yes. And so are you. So are you. So yeah, that's right. You got you to get, get a house ready for me when I'm ready to come. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, praise Yah, everybody. Yep. Uh, if you want to have this great fellowship with Brother Tom and I and, and, and Brother Will and Sister Liz, Sukkot is coming up in Georgia, and we'll be in Georgia. We're going to have a blessed time there. Uh, so if you haven't made plans for Sukkot yet, consider that. And uh, praise Yah. I believe they might be full, though. So, uh, oh, well. But there is a waiting list, so get on that. So uh, let's say hello. So, yes, uh, let's say let's say hello to everybody else. Brother Shaul, how you doing, Brother Shaul? Um, I'm surviving by the favor of Yahweh, but blessed to you, brother Paul. Blessed to you, brother, um, uh, brother, um, and the other brothers and sisters. I'm surviving by the favor of Yahweh. Um, uh, continue to guard me in prayer. Um, I'm still striving to make myself closer and close to Yahweh and spirit and body. So just continue to guard me in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like your song is. Faith. Faith and faith. You'll be all right, brother. Thank you. Thanks for being here and being part of the fellowship. All right. Praise Yah. Well, let's say, say hello to everyone else here. We got uh, Sister Susan Starwick. Shalom, Sister Susan. How are you doing tonight? Shalom. Shalom. Happy Sabbath. So, so I can't tell you how happy I am that we, we we would call it vespers, where where you know I was a Seventh Day Adventist, and they used to have services on Friday night in addition to you know Saturday, and it's like I don't know what happened to them. They're just like yeah, they're just not around anymore. No more vespers, you know. And so when I found your ministry, and you said that you were going to you know praise Yahweh on you know Friday evening, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. Thank you so much for your ministry. All the glory be to Yahweh that we have this opportunity to do this, and we're so glad you're here to do it with us. Amen. Thank you. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Hallelujah, everybody. Uh, look who's joining us online tonight, I think, for the first time. Uh, Fabi. Uh, Shalom, Fabi. How are you? Um, hello. Shalom. Hello. How are you doing? Shalom, brother, sister. Uh, I'm great us, here. Where are you calling Shabbat from? Indonesia, brother, brother Paul. I'm I've ever come to here before. Oh, you've been here before. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, so uh, in, from from Indonesia, Paul, uh, brother Paul, yeah. brother Ren, brother Bayan, brother Saul Israel, sister Susan, mm -hmm. sister Roxanne, mm -hmm. sister Carl Paul. Sahabat Shalom Pelosi, Pak Bayahu Wakil Islamah Shalohim, bless us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. From hallelujah. Indonesia. All the way in Indonesia. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank Halo, you. Halo, Amerika tu. Okay, hallelujah. Yeah. All right, we have Roxanne joining us. Shalom, Roxanne. How are you? Shalom, brother Paul. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Uh, happy Sabbath. How, how was your week? It's um, it's had its challenges. Um, street preaching is definitely well. I wouldn't say street preaching. I just um, like handing out tracks and and stuff. And um, but you got to be careful as a young lady out there. Well, I'm not young. I'm like in my forties. But like, you gotta you gotta be careful. <laughs> you know, some people out there are kind of a little bit freaky, but. So I would say it has its ups and downs, but you know, then I meet people and um, they're just so sweet and so open. And it makes me, it, it encourages me to not stop, just get my second wind and hopefully get back out there next week. 
Yeah, stay encouraged, sister. Just uh, you know, just you're doing you're doing Yah's work, you know, and uh, that's all. Just stay encouraged, you know. And remember, it's a spiritual battle because uh, the enemy doesn't want that to happen. So you just stay strong. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yes, praise Yah, praise Yah. And uh, Sister Sonia is joining us. Uh, shalom, Sister Sonia. I know you just want to watch here, so shalom. And uh, Sister Carlene Paul, shalom to you. And then we have uh, Wil Wilfredo. Sh oh, Wil Wilfredo. <laughs> hey, uh, Will. What's up, Wilfredo? How you doing, man? Hola, hermano. Hola, How you guys doing? Shabbat shalom, my brothers. How are you? Shabbat shalom, oh, well. Great. great to see hold you. Up, hold up, hold up. Let's want to say Shabbat shalom. Go ahead, honey. She said Shabbat Shalom to her family. She's in the kitchen. Hey, Will, I didn't want to blow the chauffeur and wake up anyone here. Can you blow the chauffeur? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Crazy out. One sec. They were all here last week, Brother Tom and Brother Wilford. Uh, what a blessing to break bread with you guys. It was our break food. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yes, and what a week it's been. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wilford, brother Wilford with the nice ceiling fan is gonna, is gonna <clears throat> blow the shofar. Start us off here tonight. If anyone wants to sing, let it, everybody get those likes up. There's 21 of you likes and 56 of you watching. Everyone get those likes up. And uh, yes, brother Wilford is going to... Uh, uh, blow the shofar. Go ahead, Brother Wilford. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Praise you. Crazy. I think the dog's the only one that heard it. <laughs> Ray didn't love it. Thanks, Will. Yeah, yeah. brother, brother Tom. How you guys made it home safely? Thank God. Yes, yeah. Praise you for that. And it was really nice being with you all uh for leaving for a short time. Wish we had more time, but we were far away. So next time we'll, we'll visit more. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll take care of Brother Paul. Give him a little smack down here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the coat, the coat, the coat. Yeah, let, well, let's see what happens. I, I got to go by how the white. The three people. amigos will be at the coat. Come I on, hope brother, so. You got to make it. Yeah, I, well, you know, like, you know. Yeah, she wants to. Uh, I don't know. I will talk about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Praise you. Praise <laughs> God, everybody. Back <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everyone, uh, keep uh, <clears throat> uh, Brother Will and Sister Liz lifted up in prayer, especially uh, a complete healing uh, to Sister Liz and then our, and our, and our health challenges that she's going to overcome on y'all's time. Does everyone keep her prayers to stay encouraged for both of them? And uh, <clears throat> praise Yah. Thank you. And just everyone get a prayer journal, write that down, and remember, keep Sister Liz's healing in prayer and uh, the encouragement of them both. So praise Yah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can I say something? Uh, yes, brother. Go ahead, man. It feels kind of weird because I'm, um, I'm used to Androids. So I'm using an iPhone right now. It's kind of fun. Congratulations. I don't oh, know, yeah. man. I don't know. Welcome yeah. to the club. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know. I don't I'm so you know. You know the, look, look, brother, I'm a health guy, okay? Let me tell uh -huh. you, the best ways to relieve stress. Let me tell you. <laughs> Number one, here's the, the best ways to relieve stress. Number one is to listen to classical music. When I was younger, I didn't know that, but I realized that when I listen to classical music literally releases stress. Number two is to take a walk, even if you don't have somewhere to go. It relieves uh -huh. stress. And number three, and the biggest way to relieve stress is uh, get rid of your Android and get an uh, get an Apple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what do you want to say, brother Will? 
No, I, I, well, what I, I don't know. It's just new. It's, it's new for me. Oh, I mean, okay. you know, it's funny. It's, uh, it's small, but... Uh, no, it's good. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. You're stepping up in the world. You're stepping up. You, have, <laughs> you think so? <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Well, uh, hallelujah. 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 Well, let's say hello to everyone else online here. And everybody, we have our brother Yosef uh, here with us. Uh, Shalom, brother Yosef. Uh, how you doing? I'm all right. How are you guys today? How are you doing, Tom? Uh, we're, we're all great. We're all great, brother. Uh, so, you know, with enthusiasm. How you doing, brother? Good, good. Um, good. So, yeah. So today I had an interview at Amazon. We'll see what happens with that. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's uh, a lot of guys uh, when I was when I went in the interview today, a lot of them were coming in hurt and stuff. So we'll see what y'all has for that. And then I have that sales job. I start on Monday. So I'm just trying to find something that's going to pay the bills. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I don't, I don't want my wife stressing out while she's in nursing school, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, everybody keep Brother Yosef and his, his wife in, in prayer and <clears throat> their marriage and, and the, the work situation. And, uh, and praise Yah for just, uh, just opening uh, Yosef's eyes to Torah and, and, and praise Yah and just encouragement for them. We lift you up, brother, and thanks for yeah. joining us. Yeah, thanks, man. If you guys can keep my brother in prayer uh, today, uh, he had an iron gate hit him, and he's in the hospital. He says he has a sore back, but you know what I mean? He ended up in the hospital. He does, like, trucking, and I guess, like, a metal gate ended up hitting him in his back. He doesn't He doesn't know God at all. He grew up, you know, really not really following anything. So I just keep praying that, you know, eventually he gets some kind of seed in him. You know, he knows where I stand, so. What's his name? Uh, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. My whole family grew up the Catholic way, like you said, Tom, and they don't really want to hear it, you know what I mean? So I just keep praying for my family and, like, and just, it's where I'm going right now, right now, Tom. Like you were saying about the service industry, I really want to, I'm getting back into it. I did nursing for a while. But it's just like it's just hard because it's like they don't want to pay you a good amount of money. It's just like seventeen or sixteen, or and it's like there's not a fair wage out there. You know they say there's a lot there's lots of jobs in Pennsylvania, like where I ended up getting let go from my job. I was telling you guys, so like I'm learning a lot about my state. It's very like they can fire you at any time they want to, so it's kind of scary. So, you know, I'm learning a lot about like laws and how like Babylon works, Brother Tom, and especially retail, that you just got to keep fighting for Yah. But, you know, it's just it's just disheartening sometimes in this world. Stay encouraged, brother. Stay encouraged. And uh, we're praying for you. We're praying for you. You know, because I was reading Matthew 1 through 5 today for, for last, right before you guys started for like four hours ago. And it really made a lot of sense, brother uh, Paul, like how the enemy, it was, went, it wanted to destroy Yahshua before he even was born. And his, his dad, Yosef, made a, dis- a decision where he's like, I'm not going back to Bethlehem. I'm going to Nazareth. So that's why he, why he became, why, when he lived in Nazarene, he became a Nazarene. And it's just interesting. It, sometimes we think we're doing this and we decided to go opposite of what Yah was doing, but Yah already knew that was going to happen. Yeah. You know, so I want to tell you, uh, you, you too, Brother Tom, is that sometimes we decide that we think we know better in a, an extent, but it was like Yah was, you already knew you were going to do that. Like, think about Yosef. He, he ended up going the opposite of way where the messenger told him to go to. And then he ends up becoming a, a Nazarene and, the entire story becomes about that rather than maybe Bethlehem. Well, praise Yah. Uh, yeah. Have a yeah. blessed, have Sister, a blessed time. Yes. Well, you hang out there, brother Yosef. Uh, let's say hello to yep. everyone else here. Uh, hang out there, brother. And we'll talk to you in a moment. Sister Fabi has her hand up. Go ahead, Sister Fabi. Thank you, brother Paul Nisson. Uh, but the Polynesian, I have a question. But uh, do you, do this ministry have uh, like a group in Telegram or in WhatsApp? Because I have a friend from another country, 
I think I think they can uh, baptism uh, can help by your ministry because I'm from Indonesia, from Asia. That's why I'm asking, do you have brother like a group in Telegram or WhatsApp? On Facebook, we have a group on Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Name, yes. name, brother. And Torah Life Ministries the, on Facebook. Oh, the name, right, like the channel. Yeah, Torah Life Same. Ministries. Oh, okay. Thank you, brother Paul. Yes, Thank what you, part brother. of Indonesia are you in? In Bekasi, Jakarta, Pondok Gede. Oh, Jakarta, yes, okay. okay. Jarai Hangkam. Okay. Near, near Jakarta, eh, Bekasi. Okay. Well. Yeah. Brother well, Paul in jo Brother Paul in Georgia. Brother Paul in. Yes. In Georgia. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Brother. Yeah. On, YouTube, on, on Facebook, Torah Life Ministries on Facebook. Okay. Thank you, Brother Paul. Abayawa. Can you so much service? We also have, thank you, sister. We also have Brian Williams joining us. Shalom, Brian. How are you? Shalom, shalom. Doing great, doing great. Just blessed to see another day, you know, so everything's great regarding that. Well, well great. Where are you calling from? I'm in Tampa, Florida currently. Okay. Have you been on the show before? Yes, I've been here. This is my first time on the Zoom. I normally just watch it on YouTube, but yeah, today's my first day on here. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us here on, on, on here. Uh, how, 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 what made you decide to come on tonight? Uh, I don't know, just a random decision. Just decided to come on, man, to be well, honest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping and say hello. Thank you. Yes, yes. All right, everybody, Brian's going to sing a song for us. No, just kidding, Brian. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, <clears throat> praise Yah, praise Yah. And uh, there's a, guy, a lot of people online here on the side chat. If anyone has any uh, prayer request questions or, or song requests, let us know. We do have a prayer request for prayer for <clears throat> Al Henry's uh, uh, daughter who had a baby, I think. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. So we lift her up and that whole thing up and and praise Yah for children. And, uh, and if you're a granddad, Al, congratulations. I didn't read it correctly, so maybe it's. Yeah, I think you said your daughter had a baby. So praise Yah, praise Yah. And, and, and welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome, everybody. Let's see uh, who else is here. Welcome, everybody. Remember, everybody. On Sabbath, we do the Torah reading, and we also do the prayer every morning at 6 a.m., uh, so we have a blessed time with that, uh, and just looking for everyone else. Brother Wayne, Shabbat Shalom, Brother Wayne, and hallelujah. Okay, so uh, well, here's what I want to discuss with everyone. Well, Brother Charles is coming, and then I want to discuss something. Well, uh, where is he? All right, I'll discuss it now because I don't know where he went, but he's trying to make his way in. Uh, so, oh, there he is. Charles, you there? All right, he's trying to come on, but oh, there you go. Charles? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Shalom, how you doing? I'm blessed here. How are you, Paul? I'm great. I'm great. You heard the great news? Yeah, I wanted to say congratulations. Somebody, somebody told me. Yeah, the great news is I saved a ton of money with the Geico. Yes. All right. Some of you. Oh. Will that. Yes. Is it a? Never mind. Or a girl. Never mind. <laughs> yes. Oh, what what'd you say, Charles? I said, is it a boy or a girl? My baby is a is a boy, and he knows it. So well, double that's blessing, good. Right? The double I'm blessing. glad he I'm glad he knows it. That's that's a step forward to <laughs> hopefully for rest of society. Yes, yes, yes. 
he, he's starting to get somebody so, so uh, a picture and they said he started to get his uh, five o'clock shadow so he started to grow a beard yeah well uh, oh, yeah. It, lots of time to do that yeah yeah so praise yeah praise yeah is Jerry on today I'm looking for Jerry no not yet oh okay because I I wanted to talk to him about something after Shabbat, so I tried to call him. I hope he's okay. I tried to call him and I texted him this week and I didn't get an answer. So, mm. but I actually didn't save money with Geico. Everybody, I actually dropped Geico. I saved money with Costco insurance. It was much better and cheaper. Uh, but uh, yes. Yeah, so, brother Charles, how was your week? How's your daughter doing? Okay. Uh... She still has her moments. Uh, hopefully, um, <clears throat> through prayer and time, that'll change. Yes, yes. Well, we keep her lifted up in prayer, certainly. And uh, let's try to call Brother Jerry here and surprise him. Yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> So, uh, how have other things been going for you? Really amazing. On every level, it's been a blessing, and uh, more people are listening on a radio station, I believe, because uh, people are acknowledging that. So, so that's really nice. And, uh, yeah, I get uh, a lot of interesting comments online on the internet. Uh, mm -hmm. But, yeah, you're always so good. You're always so good. So that's what I wanted to bring up, Charles. If you if if you don't have anything to share, I wanted to share uh, something here with. Uh, so, brother Jerry, if you're here, come on and join us, and so on. Uh, Susan said she has to lock up her chickens. So I was just telling everybody last week, I believe it was, or the week before, about how evil and wicked TikTok is. No one should be on TikTok at all. I mean, maybe if you're preaching the gospel, but even then, TikTok is just wicked all around. It's 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 the worst of the worst of social media. And I yeah. just I just knew it. Well, what happened was uh, a couple of days ago, I'm about to make a video on it, uh, Tucker Carlson, who's a wonderful uh, uh, news anchor uh, commentator on Fox News. Uh, I don't know how it popped up. I think it was a couple of months old, but I had never seen it. But uh, China owns TikTok. And apparently, China, uh, TikTok in China is teaching the youth in China some valuable skills like math and and history and like like valuable skills to learn. And then he showed TikTok in the United States and how it's so degrading and teaching our youth just garbage and showing garbage. And there's something more behind this than just a trashy. Uh, immodest uh, soft porn uh, application. There's something more behind it. Think about it. China's teaching the youth in America and leading the youth of America. You know, TikTok, without a doubt, is just uh, a, a porn it's site. It's a porn site and nobody should be on it. There's no excuse. No excuse. And to those of you that say, well, we use it to preach on there. We were going to preach on there. I'm all for preaching in the dark rooms. I'm all for preaching in the dark places of the earth. But I am not going on the scene of like a an X-ray. I'm not going into an X-rated movie theater to to uh, to preach the gospel. <laughs> I'll wait outside the theater for when the people come out or something. There's, there's some places that we 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 got to be careful going to. And, you know, I've never had an issue with alcohol, but still, I'm not going to go preach inside a bar. I'll stand a place near the bar, you know, so just be careful, everybody. Be careful. OK. Here's uh, the. Yes, oh, go ahead, Brother Charles. Um, China might be using it to teach history, but is it the correct history? No, they are. They're teaching valuable stuff to the kids in China. That's the point. But then in this country, they're teaching garbage. They're showing garbage. Because they want it to be, they, they want it to, to bring down the United States. They want the, the 
trash to um, corrupt the children in America. Well, they succeeded because it's just absolutely so terrible. And to see kids liking it, and, and it's just uh, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. So uh, as a matter of fact, yes, I did delete the app, but I'm going to. I'm going to get off it. I'm going to delete the, the profile. I, I, I don't, don't even go on there. I'm just going to delete the profile. I don't have the app. I don't know how to delete the profile, but every time I get a, a notification in my uh, menu about uh, something going on at TikTok, I just swipe it and delete it. I don't even look at it. Well, that's what happened. I, you know, I wanted to get on social media, Instagram and Facebook. They have their issues, but you know, there's a wonderful platforms if you get a good group and so on, but they have major issues as well. But I, so I got on TikTok finally and absolutely <laughs> terrible, terrible. I mean, you know, it's just absolutely terrible. So I deleted the app. I don't go on there on my computer. I didn't even think about, it. I'll just delete my profile because I don't want to be associated with it all. So yes, that's, that's what I'm going to do right after this tonight. Uh, there so was another Another um, app uh, that was associated with um, Facebook, I forget what they call it, but uh, I, I was getting stuff on there after I joined uh, women wanting to, to uh, connect with me, and I just got tired of it, and I deleted deleted it yeah yeah well good yeah we got to be careful with the phones with uh we got to be careful with this you know and i don't say it but there are people that have said it you know it's uh it, it's it's wicked but you think the phone's in the right hand and the phone messes with the mind some people have called it uh the mark <laughs> uh and it, it definitely has uh characteristics of some similarity to it with the information that can be passed so so through it it's very very interesting and important for us to be aware of this but i will no nobody even nobody even tell me tiktok is good you're spiritually blind if you think so there's some things that people don't see yet and hopefully people don't know about yet but you know when people you know tell me some things and it's just you got to just pray for people, but wow. Uh, <clears throat> Jerry just joined there, Paul. All right. Well, we're going to say hello to him. And then we got two other people that joined us. And uh, and uh, so, so, Brother Jerry, Shalom, how are you? Brother Jerry, you there? We cannot hear you, Brother Jerry. Okay, well, we got hands up, and then we're going to say some new people. Do, like, shalom, there he is. brother. Shalom. Shalom, brother Jerry. Welcome back. I had, I had to jump through the hoops to ask the, oh, this audio is being live streamed. This audio, you know, this is, <laughs> I had to jump through the hoops. I, I couldn't unmute myself, dude. So be patient, be patient. <laughs> How's it going, man? Very good, man. Very good. Hey, I tried to contact you this week. I was not successful. Uh, you actually, I was on another call when you called, uh, yeah, not too long ago, but I was on a, I was on an important call, so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't break away. Oh, no, this week I took, I reached out to you on Sunday or Monday. By telephone? Yes, sir. No, by text. I sent you a text. I, this is a landline, dude. You can't, you can't text the landline, brother. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 what a laugh i'm glad we can oh man <laughs> that's like uh, uh, how many times have you asked me for my email address and then when i email you you don't answer me anyway so what's the point <laughs> did you have a lot of fruit punch today buddy <laughs> did i have a what uh, how's it going man go and drink it's the kool-aid wonderfully the kool-aid yeah <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't. I drink. I drink water. I drink water. I haven't had soda. I can't tell you the last time I had a soda or any fruit punch or anything. Like, I, well, I have uh, like uh, pomegranate juice, 
Uh, I love that, but that's uh, that was pricey before the before the market went crazy. Yeah. But well, how was your uh, how was your week, brother? Fantastic. I got uh, I got a I got a huge client. I'm actually the spokesman for uh, Tough Built officially. They gave me uh, they gave me three uh, three projects in the past couple of weeks, and uh, I got I got the job. So when you see a Tough Built commercial. Whether you see it online or you see it on on TV, if you still watch TV, I haven't watched TV in two and a half years. But if you still watch TV, if you see a commercial for Tough Built, or if you're in the in the store and you see one of those displays, the video displays, um, they uh, you, that's it's it's my voice that you'll be hearing. What is what is what is it? What's Tough Built? Tough Built. They make uh, well. Let's see. The the latest one I did was for uh, laser levels. They do they do construction tools. Um, I did one for a workbench, one for a uh, 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 utility knife, like a special uh, special blade utility knife. And they they make like um, if you install floors, if you if you if you install floors, you're going to be on your knees all day, so you have to wear the knee pads, otherwise your knees would be messed up. So they they make they make all that sort of stuff. They make tool belts and uh, you know tools and. You no, know, it's really rugged stuff. Like you could drop it off a building, or an elephant could step on it, and the stuff wouldn't break. So it's tough built. Yeah, not tough. Got you. Hey, uh, not tough unless it's Gary, tough we got a, a question for you. Uh, yes. Somebody wants to know what's a landline. Well, way back in 1875, Alexander Graham Bell invented the first telephone, and the first phone call was from one room to another over these things they called copper wires and they're still used they're still up there but uh yeah that's a landline you could pick up a, you could pick up your phone and you would actually turn a crank and you'd be connected to the local switchboard and you'd say you know hello mabel can you connect me to to paul and then she'd take the plug and plug it into paul's phone and then paul's phone would ring and that's how it was, uh, you know, a hundred years ago. But then they made, ele- you know, electronic switches and everything. So uh, a landline. Put it this way: if you go to a store and you put your credit or debit card in a machine, that information and the and the, the it takes a few seconds for it to get back. That's because that can, that is that signal. Your verification is going over a phone line. So that's what a landline is. Got you. You know, I uh, a, a little while ago, I took my daughters to a museum at an old abandoned gas station, and I showed them uh, something called a payphone, and they were like, "What's yeah. that, Daddy?" You know. So I, I, it was. It's always nice to talk about antiques and stuff. Uh, I yeah. thought it, it wasn't that long ago. I mean, it's only been like in the past. I mean, the past like 15, 15 years or so that. Payphones all went out of business. I mean, they, well, they they all they took they took them all out. But yeah, kids, back in the day, if you went to the airport, you'd see rows like a, a dozen or twenty or thirty payphones all lined up. Watch uh, planes, trains, and automobiles when Steve Martin gets stranded in Wichita, Kansas. You know, great movie. Great the, movie. But, They're going they the wrong way. Yes. When they <laughs> announced the, there's only one way. There you go, man. There you go, Tom. There you go. Is that a um, pillow? <laughs> when he was, uh, when he was, uh, when the flight got canceled, you saw everyone ran for the payphones. That yes. uh, that was your mobile phone. That's that's what you used when you weren't home or at your office. That's how you got in touch with people. And then in the '80s, they came out with a thing called a pocket pager, and that was really neat. So someone would call you, and they'd enter enter their phone number, and your your pager would go off on your belt and you'd look down and you'd see the phone number and then you'd get to the nearest pay phone or whatever phone you could get a hold of and then you'd call them back yep yep yeah very very cool we got some new people here hold on jerry hold on and then uh and tom and and, and roxanne have their hands up but hold on let's uh uh we're gonna say hello uh first we're gonna hear them because they have their hands up then we're gonna say hello uh we'll, we'll, we'll get to jonathan in a moment and there was another brother here. I don't know if he's still here. Oh, and then Brian will get to you in a moment. Oh, we said hello to Brian. So brother Tom and Roxanne have their hands up and then Charles does. And, uh, and uh, but Jerry, thanks for the history lesson, brother. Always, thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. Uh, go ahead, brother Tom. 
Uh, I was going to comment on what you said about the bad stuff that's on the, the phone, which is really the internet or the computer. Um, and you're right about the TikTok, of course, with like many other stuff that's out there. But I look at it a little uh, differently. Like when you said the mark of the beast, uh, I don't believe that that's it. Um, I believe that there's things that are distractions that are on the phone. So like, for example, like when I used to go to the library, uh, which they've downsized ever since they had the phones now. So like when I'm fixing cars or I have an electrical problem at the house, whatever, I really, I go to the phone now and I do a lot of research on the phone or the computer in my, in my phone set um, to learn how to fix things. And it's really good. YouTube has a lot of stuff. That's good stuff. So the idea is that it can be used for good or bad. It's a distraction for the bad. It's like, it's like me going to a, a store and they have like Playboy magazines, penthouse magazines, and some other really bad magazines. And over oh, here they have like learning magazines. I walk into the store and I'm able to um, choose with my free will what I'm going to buy or let my eyes see in that magazine. I look at that like the same thing with the phone. So in a, in a sense, the phone is really good, but it can be really bad too. And it can be a very bad distraction as well. So it's my, it's my job to kind of control that in the house to my children and what they're seeing by putting up firewalls or just, you know, saying you can't look at this stuff or whatever. But um, the enemy has definitely got in there and is able to use it for, for, for us to get bad with it. But I, I just say there's a lot of good on there too that I use it for as well. I just wanted to share that with everybody because I think that there's a lot of stuff that we're learning, even from your ministry, Paul, that you, know, you go on the computer, internet, or the phone. You, I, can, I can do your podcast in the morning or other people's messages. And it's really informative to me why I have my little phone in the, in the van. I'm learning so much through that. So I'm glad I have that you know, to listen to when I can, when I have, cause I, I drive around a lot. I don't have time to read. So I, I can learn by listening through that phone. So I wanted to share that. That's my two cents. And also Nicholas wants to speak about the TLT. Uh, whenever you're ready for him, Paul, he wants to speak for like five or 10 minutes. Uh, okay. For sure. For sure. Uh, Roxanne, you're next. Uh, yes, brother Paul, you know what I, I, I've really noticed a lot about social media. It's it really is the antithesis of, of what uh, Christ stood for, the principles of Christ, because, um, you know, like a lot of social media, and I, I used to have like a YouTube channel, which was quite secular before I kind of went through my spiritual awakening in April, right? So I was just doing secular videos and trying to put my name out there and stuff but it really is you know it's 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 very um you know whereas christ tells us to be humble yeah, I, I use and um you know and and modest but like to 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 really make it on social media in in the in the way that most people use social media anyway not like you know like for ministries but you know you really it really um encourages this culture of boasting and vanity and pridefulness because like even like if I look through my Instagram you know and well I, I still unfortunately I haven't changed out the people I follow on Instagram but you know you see these celebrities and they're wearing like expensive designer clothes and you know, they're, they're posing and stuff. It really is. I mean, at first when I was doing YouTube, I didn't see anything wrong with that. You know, I thought oh, that's the way you promote yourself. And, you know, I guess you want to, to come across as very um, confident and stuff. But like now, when I look at the principles of Christ to be humble, to be modest, you know, of, 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 of no reputation and, you know, and also not to be materialistic, you know, like to, you, you, you know, you don't need designer clothes, you don't need makeup and hair weaves and, and all this stuff, you know, that, you know, a lot of social media influencers, you know, besides the fact that they're, they're quite also provocatively dressed as well, but they, they're really selling this materialism and this boastfulness that a lot of people, they, they don't even realize how anti-Christ it is because, you know, Christ was homeless. You know, he said, you know, foxes have holes, you know, but the son of man have, has no place to lay his head. You know, he was a homeless traveling evangelist, right? 
but like you have people like wearing their Fendi or their Gucci and, and, you know, dressing provocatively and really having a lot of makeup and flash. And it really is like, um, it made me reflect on uh, in first Timothy, it says in the end times, men will be uh, lovers of themselves, boastful, conceited, and it really is that. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time when I was doing YouTube, you know, that it really is oh, very, yeah. very, very boastful. But yeah, that's that's what I noticed. It's, it's quite anti-Christ. Yes. Uh, well, I just want to warn everybody about it. And somebody asked about YouTube and streaming. Nothing is as bad as TikTok. That's my point. But in the other place, like Tom said, we, we have to just be wise in what we're doing. But... We come here tonight to praise and lift up Yah and with song and prayers and praise. And uh, Sister Roxanne, thank you for your testimonial and, and for how far you've grown and came uh, in this. Uh, so thank you, Sister, because, you know, we've all come from somewhere. And I just, I just, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I've been on Facebook. I've been on YouTube. I've been on all these places. But nothing i mean i was shocked i mean literally it's like a porn site to TikTok thing i couldn't even stay on there i mean normally i could gauge around the bad stuff and i couldn't even stay on there i want to you know praise y'all lift y'all connect with people of y'all <laughs> but i can't see that from your phone any, what if you if anyone has TikTok on their phone uninstall it it's spyware it's listening to everything yes. you say it's turning on your camera it's watching what you yes. do yeah Get that's what I was. That's what the point was today. Is it's it's more than just trash, because it it's more than just teaching our children. It's it's from China and it's it's wicked stuff. Wicked stuff. So spyware. Spyware. Yes. So uh, yes, uh, brother Charles has his hand up. I know several of you have your hands up, but I want to say a little, brother Jonathan, and let's let's praise Yah tonight and then sing and praise him and. Uh, uh, I want to hear some praise reports from this week about how great your week was. And my week has been a blessing. Please pray for, for sleep for me and my, my blessed wife uh, that we get some more sleep because uh, little Abraham, he has his own schedule. <laughs> uh, and also pray for the, the, you know, we found an amazing, amazing healthy formula, organic and organic formula. And I, I didn't even know there was a shortage on formula until uh, <laughs> I went to go look for this organic one and I was like, wow, you know, most of the shelves are empty when it comes to any formula. I was like, wow, interesting. So pray that we find what we need because uh, I can't find it. There's only like one store that even has it. Uh, so, you know, yeah, I got to get my- You can make it too, Paul. What? You can make your own formula. There's recipes. You can make your own Absolutely, formula. absolutely. You know, I'm all about that, Brother Jerry. Absolutely. But- there's one that I found that's pretty amazing. And so, so yeah, brother, uh, you know, so I'm going to get get some of my good brothers to, to search it out for me and see if they have it at their local store. Uh, but let's see. Brother Charles is going to go, and then we're going to say a little Jonathan, and then Brother Nicky is going to talk about, uh, Brother Nicholas is going to talk about this camp that he went to, and he's also going to sing. So praise Yah. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Brother Charles, then Jonathan, then uh, Nicholas. Go ahead, Brother Charles. Yeah, uh, Jerry, I wanted to, um, I'm going to, after I'm done, I'm going to put my phone number in the chat area. And I, after Shabbat's over, I'd like it if you would call me. I have um, a question I need to talk to you about. My phone number's on my website, dude. JerryConway.com. Jerry with a G. Conway.com. My phone number's on there, dude. Call me anytime. Have anything to write write down? So um, don't have to write it down, dude. You can just copy it or type it in your phone off of the screen when you go to my website. It's right there on the front page of my website, dude. I'm not always um, computer illiterate about certain things, but um. I also wanted to say that um, <clears throat> hello to Tom, and uh, uh, there was uh, some other things that um, 
I have forgotten what I wanted to say right now. Um, but um, you said your website is Jerry dot uh, com or what'd you say? See, I forgot it already. Okay, right now as I'm speaking, you should see my name and my website on your screen. You, if I keep talking, it should stay up there. White yep. letters on a black background. That is my website right there. You're looking at it, brother. My, I can't look at it. All I see is a black screen right now because my screen's uh, cracked. So I can't All see right. it. You guys can figure it out later because we want to stay focused okay. here. You guys can do a computer lesson later. But Charles, contact me later. I'll get you in touch with Jerry, okay? He has I a phone number. You can call him and talk to him, okay? I'm going to disconnect because I got a work tomorrow night so i'm gonna jump off and say shabbat shalom to everybody shabbat shalom charles shabbat shalom brother shabbat shalom okay shabbat. uh brother jonathan shalom thanks for being so patient thanks for joining us tonight oh thanks paul yeah i just wanted to hop on here tonight i've been following you and watching your videos for a couple of years now so i just wanted to thank you personally oh well thank you very much uh most people that have been watching me for years don't like me and they get upset at me, but thank you for being <laughs> one of the people that actually don't, aren't mad at me. <laughs> yeah, the pleasure's all mine. Yeah. But where, where are you located, brother? I'm in Ohio. Okay. Okay. We have brother, I think brother Elmo's in Ohio too. You've been watching the Friday night show for a while? Uh, here and there, but mostly just, uh, mostly just your short videos. Okay. Cool, man. Cool, man. And uh, well, thanks for getting on here and uh, you know, if you ever have any questions or anything, let me know. But uh, praise that he had good fellowship there out there. Yeah, not 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 so much. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is um, actually good fellowship in Ohio. What what area of Ohio are you in? So I'm a little bit south of Cleveland, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. So um, there are some fellowships that I've found that are a little bit south of me, but a uh, few hours away is the closest that I've found. Yeah, I used to actually, when I used to travel for my health lectures, I used to go to Ohio probably more than any other state. And I used to go to the Cleveland area quite often. Oh. And uh, yeah, nice, nice little area. Yep. Yeah. So well, yeah, thank, thank you. you, Paul. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you personally in a manner of thank speaking. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. It's nice to hear it once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so... I know more people have joined up. Uh, we'll say hello to Brother John in a few minutes. And uh, but uh, Brother Nicholas uh, was one of the few, uh, one of the only ones who actually uh, listened to me when I said, you know, this camp's amazing, and go there and you'll learn a lot. And and here he is. Uh, so uh, let him come on here and just uh, tell you a little about this amazing, yeah. amazing camp. So yeah, I just uh, I'd like to say I'm thankful to uh, the TLT conference for uh, inviting us and. Through Brother Paul here, uh, we have to go. And uh, so Nicholas is going to share a little bit about what he learned. And it's like a praise report uh, of what they're doing over there to lead, lead to the Father. So I'll, I'll give the mic over to Nicholas and my son here, and he'll explain a little about what he learned uh, in his praise report. Shabbat shalom, everyone. So um, I went to a TLT conference, and that stands for Tomorrow's Leaders Today. I think Paul needs, I think Paul was talking about this already. But I was just going to say, like, the experience I had. So uh, first off, it was a really good experience, more than I thought I was going to gain. Uh, like, it was, it, was, it was something I would pay more to go back solely on just what they taught. It's not even just the people there. It's what they taught, really, which I'm one I'm after right now. Um, I went there with the mindset on learning how to be a better leader. I didn't really know what, um, well... I didn't really know what they were going to teach. I didn't even know if they were faith-based or not. All I knew was that I was going there because I wanted to learn how to mature, how to uh, well, be responsible. I mean, I'm a young adult. I need to learn how to be an adult one day. I was like, well, yeah, I'll go. And I knew Keegan was going there too. I'm sure you all know Keegan uh, through Paul Nissan. But um, see, so yeah, uh, but thankfully I went there with like an open mind to learn anything because I wanted to take information. Of, and like I heard you all talking about um, I heard you all talking about like the internet and like uh, how screwed up our society is today. And, you know, I can't agree more. It's just uh, some of the 
some of the many things we learned, but uh, not only um, leadership, but we also learned servitude, honesty, responsibility, and most important, vulnerability. Uh, or in other words, uh, they taught us how to be vulnerable and, and, uh, and uncomfortable, basically. They, they taught us how to find comfort in the uncomfortable because, I mean, that's life for you. It's gonna throw tricky situations at you and you're not gonna be comfortable all the time. But that's one of the things we learned. Um, but if, if I'm being honest, uh, you only, uh, this is what they told us. And I, I mean, I agree, but some kids there, like there was, it's, it was from 13 to uh, uh, 20, 21, 22. And um, they told us this and I, I can't agree more. It was, uh, you only get as much as you put in. You only receive as much as you put in. So really, if you went there not wanting to open up, not wanting to talk, not wanting to participate, not wanting to be there, uh, you're really not going to learn anything. You're, you, they weren't, you're, it's, it's an open mindset. It's a conference. It's not a, it's not a camp. This is not a camp. This is not a summer camp. This is hard work stuff. We got up every morning, uh, learn schedules, learn diet, nutrition. We learned uh, exercising, keeping and fit. We learned so many good things. Uh, but praise Yahweh that this well, miracle happened, a, ble a blessing almost. I didn't even know I needed it in my life uh, or the half the things they taught me. Um, I'm not even going to talk about them because there's so much, but we learned about the mind. We learned about uh, just if we want something, we do it. it, it there's an only one stopping us is ourselves. And like I was just saying, it's, it's a blessing. And I, I praise Yahweh that I was able to experience this um, so I'm, I'm just really glad and uh, ba more on like the faith part of it. It's like I went there because I, and I didn't I thought it was gonna be like a Christian thing. And uh, I guess I kind of got like a bad rep on Christians, but there's nothing wrong with Christians. I had the wrong mindset. And as soon, the first day I went there, I uh, Dr. Jeff, the uh, husband of the, the organizer, Dr. Andrea. Dr. Jeff, uh, who's married to Dr. Andrea, right. uh, you you can see an interview on uh, Paul Nissan's channel, but uh, he used God's name. He used Yahweh. He said Yahweh straight up on, like, when he was talking, and I was like, okay. Like, that barrier, that boundary, like, that line, I felt more comfortable opening up, being honest, and just being with all these people. My mindset changed so fast and so rapid, I was so eager to learn more and more. And um, yeah, that's just, I, I gotta say, if there's any like teenagers here, if there's any parents with teenagers here, um, I mean, we live in Chicago, so we live pretty far away from Florida, but we found the time as soon as I heard about the conference, I was like, yeah, we'll go. But uh, I was just gonna say, I think every teenager can gain something from this. There's something about this environment, this confidential environment where you feel free to open up, share things that you would normally never talk about. These are things that are just in life. You feel like the society tells you just to keep them inside your heart and just never let them out. But um, yeah, I got to say that the environment, the, the, the situation, and just the conference and all was one of my best weeks spent, I have to say. I would spend all my weeks like that if I could. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing, Nick. Yeah, that's really good. I just want to say that thank you to Dr. Andrea and Dr. Jeff. Yahweh had blessed these uh, this married couple, and they were able to bring everything to the, to our children and teach them so much information that they really need. And I already have a blessed child here, Nicholas. He does so much already around the house to help me and mom out, my wife. And um, he just brought more back. It's like, wow, what, what a, what an explosion of, a, of to, to get his mind open up even further. So I'm just next year, guys, sign up TLT conference, uh, elevation eight, uh, get a hold of brother Paul. He'll, he'll guide you there. Um, and thanks a lot, Nick, for sharing. Uh, we appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. So I don't know if Paul's still there. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. Thank you, brother. Okay. Yeah, so um, Nick's done talking right now. I just want to share that uh, I'm really glad that uh, we decided to go to Florida and uh, hang with Brother Paul, 
go to some oceans. My son got to go to the conference and do some really group thinking and uh, okay. task thinking. So thanks again um, to uh, TLT for my, for that uh, learning. So, all right. So uh, I know other people. Okay, brother Paul, you ready to, uh, to carry on from here? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm running into some difficulties here. Okay, no uh, problem. Let me know. Uh, yes. Thanks, Nick. Uh, maybe I don't know. Let me figure out my computer. Tom, do you want to take over? Let's yeah. say hello to. I think I got uh, it. there's somebody. John's on now. Yep, yep I got it. Okay. All right, no problem. Moment. All right, I'll so wait. we. I believe uh, until Brother Paul gets straightened out there, we'll we'll say hi to everybody. Then I'll say a psalm, and then we'll start opening up to more praise reports and um, prayer requests. And if anybody has any questions, so Jonathan Gooding, I don't know if we said hi to you yet. Shabbat shalom. Yep. Yep. I did say hi. Okay. It was the other John. Sorry about that, John. No problem. Okay. And where did the other John go? Did he leave already? I think so. Okay. So I think the other John left. Oh, there he is. John Tofoya. Shabbat Shalom. Tofoya? You're, you're muted. You're still muted, John. You got to unmute your mic. There you go. Am I there? There, there you, you go. go. I'm there now. You're here. Okay, how you doing? Shabbat Shalom. How was your week, man? Hey, really good. Everything's good. Good. A lot done. A lot done. Is this, is this so, your first uh, time My here? family is... Go ahead. Uh, no, I, last week I was here. Okay, go Last ahead. week I was here. Um, anyway, my family's from New Mexico. Oh, I remember now. And... Uh, yeah, so we, we we moved there in 1548 as the name of Tafaya, it's Tafaya, is what it is. It's Tafoya in English, but we come from the region of Tafaya, Spain, and we moved there in 1548. So we've been there almost 500 years in those mountains. That, and that's, that's, our, that's our family history there. Early Spanish settlers, Spanish Jews. That's who wow. we are. That's amazing. That's good. Yeah, a lot of uh, the nations are scattered and uh, from from the original Israelites uh, all over the to the world now. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It, yes, good brother to... John. Uh, brother John, are you the fellow that I spoke to about the about the land? Yeah, land grant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. This brother, everybody, is pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know. Can you tell us a little about that, or you'd rather not at this time? Oh, I could. I could say a little bit about it. Yeah, so, this is um, pretty amazing. My, we, we, we were gifted the, the land grant in uh, 1754, and uh, so we've owned it ever since then. My grandfather was born in 1851. And then he fathered my dad in, in 1924. And then uh, and I was born in 55. But anyway, um, I didn't know I was heir to the Spanish land grant until my dad died. And then uh, I, I'd been there when I was a kid and uh, on the ranch. I had no, no idea that we had one or what it was all about until my dad died. And then they said, well, you own a share in that land grant that my relatives did. And so I had to walk through all the, all the paperwork to, to become a, uh, one of the stockholders in the company that we have there. So that's, we've been there a long time. It's right by a town called Española, which means the Spanish. So we were Spanish Jews. Uh, it's interesting, Mexico didn't come, become independent from Spain until 1821. And so we had to deal with the, with the changeover from the Spanish government to the Mexican government. And then they sold it in 1847. They sold us essentially and, and didn't recognize our Spanish land grant. So my grandfather and um, all my relatives, they had to fight for the land grant uh, from um, 1847 and until, until uh, 19, 1905 when Teddy Roosevelt, you know, we, we, we've been through a lot of court battles for it. A lot of people killed over it, people trying to take the land, mostly, you know, so-called Americans, 
uh, squatters, we've had to deal with them. We still have to deal with those. We have to deal with the Forest Service, but we still have the land grant to this day. So, um, amazing. And I'm, amazing. I have, and I happen to be one of the shareholders in that in that land grant. So, anyway, so it's, somebody's it's asking, big, John, do you have a son named David? No, no. Okay. I, I have one named Sean. Okay. Yes. Well, it's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, everyone just keep it up, lift it up in prayer because uh, Yahweh, Yahweh is just, uh, can do amazing things. And, uh, and uh, there's this land sitting yeah. there. So, yeah, uh, pray, pray, pray for the other people that own this land, that they have the same vision that uh, Brother John has. And uh, somehow yeah. it can be used for the good of Yah. Well, we know we're all Jewish, you know, because of our last names. And so um, it's, it's interesting. And, and I don't know, we all embrace it. We love it. Um, we, we, love, we love being with our Gentile brother. And, we, you know, you're, you're grafted in. You're the same as we are. Um, I, I just know that we all have to get together. And there's no division between people in, in, his, in his assembly. So I'm just one of the members of the assembly, but maybe down the road we'll have a, a bigger, bigger thing to do for the for the the assembly of believers. So uh, yeah, that's that's a basically just a well, what we're into and what we do. So we do we run a ranch and we run elk and cattle and and uh, yeah, um, deer and. I don't know. It's 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 a good sized piece of ground. So, and we're really blessed to have it. But it it, it tells you that you know uh, we were here. Our our history is there. You know, so America bought us up in 1847, and ever since then we've had trouble with the Americans. But uh, not Teddy Roosevelt, of course, gave us. He intervened and said, "Hey, I'm going to give you your land because we it we'd been." fighting from 1847 to 1905 to just keep it. But we finally got it in 1905. So it's, wow, it's, wow. It's, it's pretty neat. It's, it's a legacy. It's, it's, a, it's our Jewish legacy for this land. You know? I believe there's, there's, two, there's two assemblies. There's the one in Israel, at, at, and then there's the, the Gentile. And you know, you're the Gentile church over here. You know? So we're the, we're the one in Israel, but we're all just one. And, and if you're grafted in, it's perfect. It's a perfect graft in to, to his kingdom. And and now, you know, I've learned a lot. Of, this is the first time I'm growing a beard. I've never grown a beard before. I, so you guys have had an effect on me. You know, I'm, I'm changing a lot of things and food Amazing habits. Now. Hallelujah. It's, it's a good thing. So I'm I'm glad to be part of you. Really am. Uh, and uh, it, it's it's. Uh, it's, it's not really strong in this area for Jewish believers and, and a lot of Mormons here. And so, but I just, uh, I fell in love with the Jesus when I was 16. So, and I've been following him ever since. And so uh, he's been good to me. And, and I'm going, well, what does this mean and that mean? Because uh, we're the last people in, in the planet to study uh, Paleo-Hebrew. And the Paleo-Hebrew is on the, the what's it called? The Ten Commandment Rock, uh, just south of Albuquerque. And it was our ancestors who put that rock up there and wrote the Ten Commandments in, in uh, Paleo-Hebrew. So we, we have a, a little bit of different understanding, of, you know, of, of the, the Word of God in, in Hebrew, because we're the last people to even study Paleo-Hebrew. So I think it was, I think, 1300 B.C. when um, they started changing the Hebrew script to what they have today. So, but, but because we were isolated, we kept on um, uh, using that Paleo Hebrew. So that's an interesting, wow. you know, amazing. We'll have to do another video about that. We got to move on and say hello to everybody in the yeah, short time we have, Brother John, but we'll so definitely, uh, we'll definitely have to do a video on all of this because it's amazing that Paleo Hebrew writing, the history that you're talking about, and the doors that might be yeah. open from this. So definitely connect with me this week and we'll talk some more, brother. Okay. Yeah, the paleo, I'll tell you what, it's just it's, it's 
it's more beautiful. You know, everybody knows that the pictographs and everything is, you know, we, we get the true meaning of the word. So uh, we just get closer and closer to, to Yah every time we study it. We all are doing that. It's a, it's a corporate effort. So everybody shalom. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Shalom, shalom. And you're not the only one. Brother Jonathan said he, he got inspired to grow a beard, too, after seeing some of my videos. I don't know if you... Jonathan, have you ever seen my beard uh, channel on YouTube? Yeah. I've Look at my little beard going. It's the first time I've ever done one. I, I've never good, had the patience good. to do that. Yeah. So I'm doing it. I'm, I'm good, being good. a beard. Okay. What about you, Jonathan? Jonathan, have you seen uh, the beard channel on YouTube? Several, several times. Yeah. And I think I watch it every time I'm, I'm tempted to shave or I have shaved and I, I, I watch it to, uh, to shave myself into, uh, into obedience. So. Well, good, good. Now, yeah. do you have a family? Yeah, I do. Yep. Um, what does your wife say in... about the beard? What's that? What does your wife say about the beard? Oh, she loves it. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Very encouraging. <laughs> very encouraging. That's great. That's great. Good, brother. Brother Tom has his hand up. Yeah, real fast. Uh, sub Susan's asking what Paleo Hebrew is. And uh, if you look at behind Brother Paul Nissan on the flag, that's what Paleo Hebrew looks like. It's actually the closest thing to the uh, alphabet, the American alphabet. Like the letter Ys are pretty close. The E is right there. It looks like an E. So it, if you look it up, it's the, one of the original um, languages of the Hebrew. The Paleo Hebrew is one of the original beginning languages before they went to the modern uh which they call the Aramaic now, which, well, go ahead, Brother Paul. Yeah, it actually has nothing to do with the English alphabet. <laughs> uh, these are, it's a, it's a picture, actually, it's a picture language. And it's one of the oldest languages that's known and believed that that's what the original scriptures or pre-scripture pre was written. They used to write, and each picture represents, and Brother Teddy Wilson has a great course on this that I took, but each picture represents something so if you see this letter here it's it's like a man with his hands raised it's really cool and uh so i think this one was like a, a comb or something uh and then so it's just really a cool language and uh you know there's some people actually one of the people that was on the united in yah uh the fellowship the the event that we did one of those people uh was a person that commonly translate these but it's a very cool uh and the that's and that's Yahweh's name in paleo hebrew uh so that's what it is yes so yeah it's very very interesting thing to look at but so that well, what brother john was saying is they found the rocks uh in new mexico and they also found one in kentucky i believe where the ancient uh indians actually wrote the native americans actually wrote on a rock, the, the, the Paleo Hebrew. I think they wrote the commandments in Paleo Hebrew. And they found these rocks like in the middle of the desert or in the middle of, of these places. Pretty wild stuff. So, uh, yeah, Jeff Banner. It's in New Mexico, Paul. Hebrew. New Mexico and in Kentucky, in Kentucky as well. Yeah, really cool. All right. Uh, yeah, some new people have just joined us. If anyone has a song they want to sing to praise Yah tonight, just let us know. Uh, 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 Brother Guy, Shalom. Hello, Guy. Shalom, Shalom, everyone. Shalom, how like are I, you? I'm good. Um, like I said, I'm listening from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm new to this channel. Matter of fact, I discover your channel on the website, uh, United to Yah. So I'm part of it. Um, I, I actually, I would say that I'm learning the Bible in Hebrew because um, when I started reading the whole Bible back in 2017, I made that experience that you have more understanding when you go to the basic, the original language of the Bible. But it's hard for me to find somebody or a group to help me to do my Bible study because um, I want to be closer to God, closer to his teaching. So as I've seen some of you commented like you have a Bible study. So please let me know what time is it. I want to join. Okay. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I think it's uh, we'll be doing it nine, uh, 1030. 
Uh, we'll be doing our morning Bible study on Saturday. 10.30 Eastern? 10.30 Eastern, yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, but uh, subscribe to the channel. Sometimes we get on a little earlier. Okay, um, I, I, I've subscribed a long time ago, but by it, I don't know. Just by miracle, I've seen you online and I participate and there you guys are. And I will say here, so yes. far, I'm learning great stuff from you. Great. Every Friday, every Friday, we're here at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Every Friday. Thank you so much. Yeah, we might, next week, we might start at 9, maybe. Okay. Maybe. But, but we're always here from 8 to 10 or from 9 to 11 every Friday night. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Stay in touch with us. And Brother Jerry, who's on here, he lives in Massachusetts as well. What part of Massachusetts were you in? Okay, right now, I live in Brockton, but right now I'm working in Boston. Okay, okay. So okay. Um, the brother that you said live in Massachusetts, if you want to, we can keep in touch. Okay, yes. Brother Jerry, uh, is that near you? Brock, Brockton is about 25 minutes south. Oh, well. Not, not, not that far, not that far. On the side chat, you can switch numbers or contact information here, brother. Uh, with Jerry. Okay, perfect. I would do that. Jerry, if you want to switch contact information with Guy and get in touch with him, he lives near you. He's about 25 minutes away, Paul. He's in Brockton. I know where Brockton is. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, the fighter, was from Brockton. Yes, I'm uh, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Marvelous Hagler. I'm familiar. Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe you could switch the information and uh, talk to Brother Guy. Yep. Rocky Marciano was from Brockton, too. Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. So, okay. Uh, yes. Yes, Guy, uh, you could either put your phone number in the side chat or whatever, and uh, Jerry will get it and keep in touch with him. Or you can contact me, and I'll get you guys in touch. I will do that right now, sir. Great. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. All right. Uh, Sister Jen is on here for the first time, I think. Shalom, Sister Jen. How are you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you, sister? Where are you calling from? Uh, I live in Western Maryland, where I'm from. I moved back here from Florida, where I lived the last seven years. But uh, I started watching Torah Life Ministries a couple weeks ago. Um, we've really, um, well, I've really had my mind exploding <laughs> um, as I'm learning about, uh, well, the real story, the real history of our word. And um, it's an adventure. So, uh, so I saw this was a live stream and I thought I'd just be watching, but uh, well, here we are. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on here. We do uh, every Friday night, uh, eight o'clock usually, sometimes at nine, but usually eight o'clock. We, we, we do this and uh, we've been doing it for over seven years now. Every Friday night I've been here. And, well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. I put it on my calendar and, yeah. uh, and that's good. I'm in a very rural area and um, it'll really take some work to try to find some people to um, start a home group with, I think, but I'll work on it. <laughs> Yes, well, that's why we're here for local fellowship uh, for people that don't have physical fellowship, and to just uh, to just uh, just praise Yah, you know, and just praise Him. Do you sing? Yeah. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should. Uh, I, I do sing, but I'm not going to sing in front of anyone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we'd love to praise Yah here and, uh, you know, so, but thank you for just being here and joining us and uh, anytime, any question, just let us know and, uh, and praise Yah. We open up your eyes to the truth. There's a lot of people out there learning this and uh, in Maryland as well. I know people in Maryland that, that are learning about all this and it's, uh, it's part of coming out of Babylon, but at the same time, uh, you know, you know, I don't know. I think the spirit of Yahweh will lead it to where it's not, it's not a, I've, I've met a lot of people that have come out of the church and they've had a lot of earthquakes. Let's put it that way amongst them, but it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, you know, and uh, we, we need to be, uh, we, I think we need to judge 
with the idea of lifting people up and not tearing people down. But uh, a lot of times people judge with the idea of tearing people down. So I think uh, a lot of people, including myself, I had to learn that, you know, we just got to, you know, let Yahweh lead and not us lead. And uh, but this information is mind blowing. Absolutely. And it's uh, it's shocking. And uh, somebody was telling me just the other day there was a something they were watching on the news and it looks it looks like how can this absolutely happen? And I said, remember what you're watching and remember where you're watching it. <laughs> so uh, things can be deceptive and not everything is always the way it seems. And uh, so I'm very skeptical when I see things on, on the mainstream news. <laughs> so I had a friend in Israel once and, uh, and I was talking to them and on the news, they saw all these bombs and it was crazy there and everything. And my friend said, I'm on that same street that they're talking on the news and it's completely quiet right now. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And, uh, you know, and they, they, so you got to be careful. But the same thing, a lot of reasons and a lot of things going on. Spiritual warfare is real. But, sister, I'm glad your eyes are opened up and you're here. So praise Yahweh. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All righty. All right. Uh, Fabi, your hand is up. What, what do you got to say, sister? Um, I'm sorry, but the Pau, I think Brother John want to go to so far. <laughs> oh, who wants brother to? Brother John. Oh, brother Joe, John, John, go yes. the show for brother. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you, brother. Thank you. Go ahead, brother John. Unmute your mic and blow the show far. Hallelujah! 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 You got to unmute your mic, brother. We can't hear a word you're saying, brother John, because your mic is muted. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out, hopefully. All right, I'm, are you there? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and blow this for you, okay? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes. Ready, okay. ready. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. There you go. Praise Yah. Yeah, yeah. Praise Yah. Yeah, yeah. That sounded that sound great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know, uh, uh, Brother Jerry, are you there? No, I'm here, sir. You're there. Uh, <laughs> who's on first? I don't know. Third place. Brother Jerry, uh, did you get his number in the side chat? No, sir, I didn't. I'm actually doing it in the middle of uh, straightening something out here. Bear with me. Okay, he put his email and his phone number on the side chat, brother guy. Okay. Roger that. Know. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Tell me, tell me when you got it. So. So. All right, and uh, so I know I I want to say a little, brother Jose, but first, brother Joseph, you had your hand up earlier. Uh, but now it's not up. Did we discuss what you wanted to before we say hello to Brother Jose? Brother Paul, I just wanted to say, like, that was awesome that you actually talked about Paleo Hebrew. And I was trying to say to Brother Foley, uh, if he, if I could definitely try to get in touch with him, because that's what I studied about before I got into Torah. Like, I looked into Brother uh, John about, like, uh, Yahweh, Yah Yahuwah is from the Paleo Hebrew alphabet. And I started deep diving into that. So that's amazing that Brother Folia talked about that. That's what I looked into. And I wanted to see if I could get in touch with him in the chat. Yeah, the side chat, you all can all get in touch with each other in the side chat if you if you'd like to. But yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so John says on uh, the side chat, Brother Joseph. All right, from Florida. Uh, my brother Jose, shalom, brother. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Yes, how are you doing, man? I'm doing very good. I mean, um, I'm just excited. Um, I just had, you know, it just it it's just been a wonderful week, you know. It's like I've been attacked, brother, and I really don't care because if y'all's with us, who's against us? And um, 
I saw, I mean, I had a prophetic dream. I'm not going to speak about it right now. It's not the time I actually text you about it, but I told Jerry about it. Jerry um, knows. But I just, if you mind, I mean, if you give me two minutes, uh, Paul, I'm not going to take much of your time. But It's, I, not, my, it's like, not my time, brother, but I'll give you two minutes. The clock starts now. Okay, here we go. I just want to tell each and everybody, you know, that they are all called for a higher power that they are all mentioned in the book of life because they have a job. The job is what? Talk about Torah. Very simple. And I, and I see a lot of beautiful things and I see a lot of prayers. And, you know, I pray. I'm the one that I'm, I'm the watcher. That's my calling. I have been called for 15 plus years as being a watcher. And I'm part of this community. Why? Because Yah wants me here and Yah wants me to tell each and everyone we are what would he call the end times, you know, and uh, we are the ones that need to express the love of y'all. If you love y'all, you just talk about y'all. You know what I mean? And everyone has a, we're not like a religion. We are the word of y'all, you know, and um, what I want to express is like very heavy things are coming. And we often do is what? Pray and just keep our faith strong and thank you paul for talking about tiktok because i saw the same thing i saw the same thing it's diabolical it, it'll lure you in in a nice way and all of a sudden it's diabolical all i can say is this watch my brothers watch teach your children and i'm and, I, and i'm gonna say something so lovely because i felt that in my heart brother tom god bless you and he's doing such a great job and I know Yah loves him so much. And all those people that are out there and that express the love of Yah, just express it. Just talk about it. Just, you know what? If someone asks you a dollar, give them two. If he asks you for five, give them ten. If he asks for help, help them. Because this is what Yah is looking at. Because at the end of the time, he says, when I show up, will there be faith? Right now, this is what the enemy is doing. He is, his, his job is destroy your faith. If I can get you in a problem, if I, get you, if I can get you in an ordeal where you think that you can't accomplish this and you don't believe in Yah, then you just let the enemy win. And everyone here has the power to pray. And we all are praying for each other. I am praying for Paul. I'm praying, you know, I want to express, you know, and it's going to be a time that I'm not going to express it. It's, I'm just going to say there, there is a time and place for everything. And I want the book that God gave me is just to bless you, Paul, not me. I'm going to get copies and copies and copies. And all I want is that whatever is going to be sold is going to come to you because your dream about having a place that we can all share each other. Because what I believe is this. I believe that this is the time that all Messianic Torah-loving people get together and love each other and speak. Because the, the, the Ruach Kodesh speaks to everyone. This is not a dictatorship. This is a loving unity. And I thank you, Paul. And I thank you all the time, Paul, for what you've done and where you have been. And I'm open. Anyone, you know, I want to start a new channel connected with yours. And it's called Torah Living. To where anyone can connect, anyone can talk and testify what Yah has done. You know, and, 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 and you know, that's what I want. You know, and I express everyone, do not be silent. We are watchers and we need to talk. Because that is what we were called for. And that's it. God bless everyone. Shabbat Shalom. And I love each and every one. And if anyone wants to contact me, they're more than free to do. And God bless. Hallelujah. 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 So uh, Brother Jose was talking about a, a book he's working on to just really uh, let people uh, know uh, about, like, like the sister said earlier, her mind was blown, but he's put it all together really nicely. 
and he wants to get this word out there. So just like uh, Sister Jen's like, whoa, my mind's blowing. And there's a, a great book out called Come Out of Babylon. Uh, uh, and uh, Come Out of Babylon, uh, my people, I think uh, that's the name of it. Uh, no, but, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pagan customs in the congregation of God. It was written 17 years ago. No, no, I'm not yours. I'm talking about the, there's a popular book out there called Come Out of Babylon. And, and, and it's like really old. And uh, th these materials are out there for people to, to understand and, and, and just the truth. So, uh, you know, so you know, Paul, like you know, like you know, Paul is that if we really think about it, right. Okay. We're in the modern times, right. But if we really think about it, back in the days when Yeshua was walking, there was so much scripture, so much knowledge out there. You know, knowledge is power. You know, it's like, I don't have, a, I don't have against any religion. I really don't care. I'm not against you. I'm against what they try to teach you. I'm against about they trying to get you away from the truth. And the truth is this. If the Torah is a life living gospel, it's not a religion. It's a life living gospel. And that's what we know. And I'm so proud of you, Paul, because you are a life living gospel representative. You know, Amen. and we have to acknowledge our brothers and sisters because they were not called. They were pretty much ripped and told this is because God says in Jeremiah Ezekiel that he calls and he teaches in the mind, in the hearts. So everyone that is connected with you has been called by God. Each and every one. Crazy and out. they all have something to give. You know, so I bless all my brothers and y'all. And, and I want them, don't be afraid to speak. Talk. You know, because this is how, this is how God works. God, okay, every, if, if we were to go in scripture, everybody said the Christians with the New Testament. What did he always say? When God did something for you, he says, go and testify to your family. And this is what we're doing. We are testifying to our family. We, and it doesn't necessarily mean bloodline. It's just all, all who loves God and loves Torah is our family. You know, so let me, let me stop. Let me stop. And if not, keep praise yeah, praise yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, uh, I could tell you several things. First of all, somebody's asking what the good scriptures are, a good copy of the scriptures. I'm going to need to give you two of my favorite ones. This one's called the Hallelujah Scriptures. Yep, yep. Uh, excellent translation, everyone. Hallelujah Scriptures. Go to hallelujahscriptures.org. Excellent. And then there, and there's the Paleo Hebrew, actually. And every time they use his name in this, it's in the Paleo Hebrew. And then the other one is uh, his translation, Hebraic Root Scriptures. Uh, you can go to C-O-Y-H-W-H.com. Uh, these are two excellent translations of the scriptures. And awesome. the other thing with what Jose just said is, I'm telling you this, many people have come here and left just as quick, uh, you know, and, and heard a word they liked, but then heard a word they didn't like. It's nothing about me or, or you know, about this. I'm just reading the scriptures to people for what it says. And I, I do hear from the Ruach HaKodesh, and I share it, and people often don't like to hear it, and I don't hold back if I hear something about someone. And if something's my opinion, I'll tell them it's my opinion. But I know uh, this thing like TikTok, that's not, that's not for me. Amen. That's not of me. If that was of Amen. me, you know, I'm too weak to even put that down. If that's not of me to say TikTok is wicked and stuff. And Amen. You know, Amen, brother. This is, Amen. Not, Amen. This is just truth it's true amen and you know there are people on that that like tiktok that might even be watching here today and they're like they don't see anything wrong with it and they want to make their, their reasons and excuses to still indulge in those things and so on you know uh, you know and somebody say you know ruach hasn't showed them that this wasn't bad or whatever there are some things that people can have their own thoughts about and everything else I know what the scriptures say, and I know as believers we need to get away from this stuff, run away. Well, that's 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 what I'm saying, Paul. If we are not watchers, 
if we do not watch what is going on, then we are not participants of the kingdom of heaven. You have to watch. You have to. Because if if, if we go back, if we go a little bit further back, okay, let's go, let's go a little bit further back. When Yahshua was walking, when Yahshua was walking, did you not think that his disciples were watching? Of course they were. Because they knew they were with the Messiah. You understand? And then, but then at the end of the day, when it came to happen to where the Romans came to capture him, they yeah. all, they all ran. They all ran. Yeah, hold on. We got to mute someone. I think somebody's on the background. Hold on, brother. Okay. So who's, who's on here? Hold on. I think John might be on. Make sure you're muted, everyone, if you're not talking. Oh, John, okay. There you go. Okay. When there's time, uh, I got a sound, brother. Uh, let's see here. Let me calm the cold. Yes, brother Jose. Praise Yah. You know, I want to get off that. I want to get in some praise in tonight and praise a wonderful creator. Uh, where's Tom here? So, uh, uh, yes, brother Jose. Thank you for your passion and thank you for what you're doing. And I just really, really pray that people wake up. And I don't even want to talk about something so much because I don't want people to, to, to be curious about certain things. But I, I said it once. I'm saying it again. I'm saying this. For, for, I'm saying this. TikTok is pornography. And no one should be on it. No, Especially no believer should be anywhere around it. And it's wicked, wicked, wicked. And I'm not against the social media of, of YouTube, of, of Instagram and Facebook. But TikTok is in a whole nother league. It's wicked. And it's from China. And there's an underlining thing. And there's spiritual warfare going on. So, Amen. Uh, I yeah. totally, I totally agree. Yeah. Totally. totally. You know, and for those of you that say, well, how do you know? You must be on it to see it. I'm not on it. As a matter of fact, I just canceled my account. But I, I, I got that app off my phone a while ago because I tried to get on it and I, I, I very quickly saw the garbage on there and I got off it very quickly. So that's how I know. It's not that I'm on there watching it, calling these things out. No, I don't even want to watch it. I don't want my eyes to see it. Uh, you know, so so it's it's wicked. Uh, so Amen, Amen right. brother. Well, Amen. Let's praise Yah. Let's praise Yah, everybody. If uh, we got a good song, Brother Wayne here is here to sing. Uh, uh yeah. brother Wayne and say hello he's doing good with his health shalom brother Wayne how you doing man I'm doing very very good I went to the doctor for my diabetes I've been uh normal as 100 I've been 250 to 300 for 15 years I started following what you eat and eating what you eat if you know about a month and a half ago uh normal is 100 I'm down to 101 so I'm um, that close to being right on the button. So that's my praise yeah. report. Well, you keep going, brother. You keep it up. That's great. Oh, yeah. I don't have no more oxygen. I don't walk with my cane no more. I'm just, I'm somebody again, you know? Yeah. Another thing I wanted to say, you know, you, you ask a lot of people to come on here if they want to sing, and they kind of hear me in their hall. They'd like to, but they don't want to sing in front of people. The best advice I got was from an old guitar picker that I used to play with, Billy Case. He told me, he said, if you sing a song and it comes from your heart, half the people are going to like what you're singing, 50%. The other 50% might not like it. But as long as you like it, that's 51%. That's a majority. Go for it. So whenever y'all want to come on here and you, you, you want to sing, but you think people might like it, not like it, sing. You're not singing to them anyway. You sing it to God. So just go ahead and make a joyful noise. It don't matter if it's a noise. Just sing. So that's my two cents for this week. All right. You've been coming on here so much now. I think you've given about almost 57 cents with your two cents each week. Yeah, they, I'm getting close to a dollar, you know. Yes. I'm almost at 51. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. But I got a little song I want to sing. On a hill far away. All right. Stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. 
And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross to my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make Hallelujah. a noise. That's a song we do all the time here. We love that song. Oh, yeah. Make a joyful noise. Go as ahead, you... Tom. You go wake up. You go wake up your dog. Hallelujah. Now he must be sleeping. He didn't come down. <laughs> and I'll cling to the old rugged cross. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. All right. We got a lot of hands up. We got some new people here. Praise Yah. Uh, Candice Rivera. Shalom. How are you, sister? Shalom, Brother Paul. I'm doing well. I'm doing much, much better than I have been. I, all glory to the Father, always. Thank you for asking. Well, praise I saw hundred and one people. Yeah, I'm not you. Okay. We have uh, uh, Fabi has her hand up. Yes, Fabi. Thank Go you, ahead, Brother Fabie. But the but the Paulison, before I also agree with brother name with name with brother. Oh the, the brother already not here. Oh brother Jose Casillas that we need to bring uh, to our nation about the truth and the life in Abba Yahweh King Yeshua Hamas Elohim. And before I also get I also get from uh, and um, we can use also the application like YouTube to tell to the nation to to tell that our Abba Yahweh is great. And also I get a dream before that we must be careful to not also to application and also to food. There's a, a food and in some restaurant they using organs, organs from humans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. That, that's why when I there, I put draw that I see it's a food. But when like Abba, Abba Yahweh, like uh, give me, give me like a, uh, no, that, that is not a food. It's a organ of a human. And then I draw the, that food. The, so in that dream, I know, and my team also get the same, like a cannibal, cannibal in restaurant. Like they're not a human. In their food, they use uh, yeah. like yeah, things. Yeah, restaurants, they, they come in the gente humana. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. And, uh, my, my team also get the same uh, same dream. That's why I'm I'm shocked. Oh, why? You also get the same dream. I also get, uh, get that dream. In that dream, I put draw that, that food because I see that food, but Abba give me no. It's not a food. Uh, my my children is not a food. It's a organ of human. Wow. That's right. Wow. Thank you, brother sister. I just want to share about that. Wow. I just wow. remember when when brother Jose tell about the truth must to tell to nation and Abba give me remember again. Thank you, brother sister. Wow. Wow. All right. Wow. Oh uh, well. Uh. Listen, folks, I want to take a moment, uh, you know, and tell everybody we have live prayer every morning and we need to pray for that whole situation. But uh, there's a fellow here on the side chat named Dennis Ubrowski who says he could use some prayer. He's going through the fire. Uh, so, you know, Father Yahweh, we don't know what exactly Brother Dennis is going through, but it says, ask and you shall receive, Father, and uh, we come together and lift his brother up to you, Father Yahweh. And, and Father, may you uh, 
give him a wisdom and, and patience in Yeshua's name, Father, that he would come to uh, have that peace and the joy that you want all your, your children to, to have, Father Yahweh. So everyone keep Brother Dennis in prayer uh, in whatever it is he's dealing with, going through right now. And uh, Brother Tom, your hand's up. What's up? Um, I was going to read a psalm, a song to you guys. Absolutely. Go ahead, brother. Okay, this is um, out of our Bibles, uh, Psalm 66. To the chief musician, a song, a psalm. Make a joyful noise to Elohim, all the earth. Sing out the honor of his name, Yahweh. Give glory to his praise. Say to Elohim, how much to be feared are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies pretend obedience to you. All the earth shall worship you, and they sing to you. They shall praise your name, Salah. Come and see Elohim's works. Who is feared in his acts toward the sons of men? He turns the sea into dry land. They go through the river on foot. There we will rejoice with him. He rules by his power forever. His eyes search out the nations. Let not the rebels exalt themselves. Salah. Bless our Elohim, O peoples, and make her the voice of his praise. Who holds our soul in life and does not allow our foot to slide? For you, O Elohim, have proved us. You have tested us as silver is refined. You have brought us into the net. You laid afflictions on our loins. You have let men ride at our head. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to plenty. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, which my lips have opened and my mouth has spoken in my trouble. I will offer burnt sacrifices of fatlings to you with the incense of rams. I will offer bulls with goats, Salah. Come mm. here and let me recount, all you who fear Elohim, what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and exaltations were under my tongue. If I had regarded inequity in my heart, Yahweh would not have heard. Surely Elohim has heard. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be Elohim Yahweh, who has not turned away my prayer and his mercy from me. May his mercy reign forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the word to go forth. Hallelujah. We have to understand these Psalms and Proverbs are so powerful. And these are the recorded words and the Psalms and the songs of of, uh, of, I'd say Brother David, right? Brother David. He's not just our king, but our brother. Yep. Now we have a lot of people that are joining us and a lot of hands that are up. We're going to try to get to everyone. but And then we're going to say a little none your biz before we get to anyone because he's been here. But now I want to sing a song I haven't sung before because I'm inspired by what Brother Tom just read. And praise Yah. And uh, I don't have music instruments. Uh I don't have uh, instruments. The only thing I instrument I have is a shofar, but I'm just going to sing it because as soon as Tom was started speaking, the song came up. I got to get this song on and sing it. And uh, praise you Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come. Now is the time to worship just as you are to worship. Come just as you are before your God. Come. One day every tongue will confess you are Yah. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly chose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, 
Just as you are to worship, come. Just as you are before your God, come. Now is the day every tongue will confess you are Yah. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Willingly we choose to surrender our lives. Willingly our knees will bow. With all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we gladly choose you now. Um, now is the time to worship. Um, now is the time to give your heart. Um, just as you are to worship, oh, come. Just as you are before your God. Um, oh, come, bow your nations, come and worship now, come and worship your maker, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you. Baruch atah donai, Baruch atah donai. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now is the time to worship everyone. Praise Yah, praise Yah. Baruch atah donai. Yes. None your peace. What's up, brother? How you doing? Shabbat shalom. How y'all doing? I'm sorry. I was uh, out of my Wi-Fi range and uh, everything was choppy. Uh, I had uh, three seconds of you guys talking and then five seconds of uh, buffering. But no, we're back close now and we're sun's going down, friend. Praise y'all. Yeah, praise y'all. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us here. Good to be here, brother. Shabbat shalom, my brother. Good Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> praise Yah, praise Yah. All right. Uh, anything you want to share on your biz before we go and say hello to everyone who has their hands raised up? Oh no, I missed. Uh, I uh, I missed a lot of it. I did hear a lot of it. it uh, at, somebody at the beginning was talking about uh, children, something with a child or something. Um, and at that very moment, I was uh, helping a friend of mine and we were driving by the abortion clinic. We have a local abortion clinic. How's things going today, friends? Yeah. Uh, one of the few places in the world you can get a partial birth abortion. Uh, but well, uh, you know, brother, you know what, brother, you know what? You are the light in your area. You are the light. Okay. Yeah, we drove by there and there's an old couple out there. There was an, uh, I'm 60 and there's a guy older than me that was out there with apparently his mother or mother-in-law in a wheelchair, like in her 90s uh -huh. out there praying. We could see him praying when you uh -huh. guys were talking about these children and how important children are. And uh, we drove by there and stopped and said, hey, you know, and I told him the story of my adopted daughter and, and how she avoided such a mess. And, and that at least Amen. we, one. Amen. we Amen. saved one. Amen. We saved one that day. But no, bless you know what, everybody. brother? You know what, brother? All we got to do is like keep doing your job. You are the watcher of God. That's it. You know, you. God will put you in situations that maybe you're like, wow, Brother Jose told me about this. He's going to put you in situations that you have to speak because you are the light of the world. That's why yeah, well, when, I was helping when, a friend today and, 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 a, and a guy came by and introduced himself and shook his and shook our hand and we had to introduce ourselves. We said, no, the tires, we got everything all completely done. Everything's totally fine. And he said, oh, no, that's really good. But boy, I, uh, when I shook your hand, I could feel a lightning in there, like a blessing coming. That's and the I said, power of the Lord in you. Well, not yet. Well, it certainly wasn't us. We know that. We uh, we'll guarantee that. <laughs> listen, listen, brother. Man, you are the light in the world. You walk and you speak. And you know what? Don't fear nothing. You know what? God is going to open so many doors. And I don't know you, brother, but I know that you have the light of the Lord in you. And this is, this is what Paul does. He is he's what they call Nehemiah. Remember when the temple, if you read scripture, the, the, the temple was like, it was crumbling, it was gone. And he woke up the people and built the temple. He's building the spiritual temple. And brother, you're part of it. You are, a, what a, remember, a, like all these religions, everybody's just like priestly hood. No. You are the priestlyhood of Yahweh, and you will let yourself be guided, and your wife as well. I don't know you. All I know is what I feel, and I feel that you are the light in your area, and it doesn't matter about a temple. 
We are the temple. We express light of Yah. Keep doing what you're doing. And that's not the first. There's going to be many. Amen. Be many. Thank you for the boost. Thank you for the you know, boost. Brother, you know, I'm here for you, man. I'm brother here Jose, for you. Brother Jose, you're on fire, brother. Praise Yah. But you look like you have a dog cam uh, view on your camera. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, it's not my oh, fault. Don't be it's sorry. Just, don't be sorry. It, it's, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, I'm actually, that's why I called it because I got a lot of texts from chats and people are telling me, brother, I want your number. Listen, let me do it publicly. My number is 386. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not. No, I have no fear. Paul, I understand. I have I understand. no fear. I have I no fear, brother. I understand. If anyone wants to get in touch with you or anything, let them call you. Let them contact me because I don't want. Okay, no to problem. Out there but info. what? What? You know, and, and thank you, thank you for that. Yes. Thank you for that protection. I love you for that. Okay, yeah. Paul, I love my brothers. I love you, especially you. You are like I'm going to see you soon. Trust me. I already, you know, my wife. She's Mexican. She don't understand what I'm doing, but she she agrees with it, and and understands it. You understand? But I love my brothers and sisters. I mean, I mean, I see like there's so much, so many people. Uh, and, and I haven't even told you the prophetic uh, dream. I'm not going to do it now because it's not time. But there are so many, so many people here and they love you. They love you, Paul. They well, love you. Well, and I feel it. I feel not, it. Thank I you, pray. Brother. I go thank on you, my brother, but it's me. not about. Thank you, brother. But it's not about me. Yeah, because it's but not about, it's not there are about people that. There it's are not people that hate me. There are people that love me, but it's Paul, not about me. Paul, didn't, didn't the Apostle Paul had that love hate? <laughs> so he had it. You just, Brother Jose, you're just straightforward. You Brother Jose, and I get it. And I get it. Brother and Jose, I, it. I love everything you're saying. Please turn your camera off. I'm trying. Let me, I feel let like me, I'm looking at the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> Such powerful words, but it looks like a doorbell. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying no, that's to right. No, no. When sit back, sit back, then you're fine. You're fine when you sit back. But when you come <laughs> close, it looks like a hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister Pam, we see you there. We're gonna get to you. I, I see you there waiting so patiently. Praise Yah. Brother Jose, you know, I love having you here. Thank you for being here, brother. And uh I think a, a real quick a guy and Yosef's gonna say something real quick and then we're gonna have Sister Pam. Come yes, okay. um, if it's not too much asking, you put up a two Bible earlier. The Hallelujah scripture, I've been looking to get that one for a month, but I couldn't get it. Is there a chance that you can send me the link to my email, please? Which one, this one or the other one? I'm crazy about Bible. I would say both, but Alleluia, the Hallelujah scripture, I would love to have it. Okay. But if I can All have right. both, that's fine. Guy, uh, send me my email address is paul at rawlife.com. Uh, send me your uh, email me your address and I'll mail you one of these. Okay, thank you. Okay, and I'll mail you that. And if you want to get this one, you go to c o y h w h dot com. C o y h w h dot com. Yes, that's for this one. And thank I'm going to mail you a Hallelujah of scriptures. Send me a message and email at paul at rawlife dot com. Okay. okay. Boy. Sexy yeah. boy, yeah. What's up? All right, brother, brother Yosef, go real quick, and then Sister Pam's been patiently waiting. No, uh, no, 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 do you think? This is a praise report, and uh, brother Tom, I know you're there, so it's pretty cool. You're talking about how you worked on cars. Um, so this is the first time I ever worked on a car. Uh, last week, um, I ended up uh, breaking um, a side mirror on my car, brother Paul and Tom, and I was able to fix it. You know, usually I ask other people it was going to cost two hundred dollars to fix it, but. But praise y'all, I watched videos on YouTube and I had the confidence to actually put it together and do it and 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 do a video on it, you know. So eventually I'm going to put it on YouTube for make people it easier. It's like, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I was just praising y'all that I was able to do something that to me, to Tom, it's easy. But to me, it's very difficult, you know, taking something apart, putting it back onto the car. And I also want to read from Psalms 119. Uh, it's really powerful stuff and it reminds me of what, Everyone goes through. You're not going to read the whole thing, are you? No. Okay, good. Bless our don't have bless three the, days. Barak is is our. This is in the scriptures for the script for the ISR, the Scriptures of Institute. Uh, it's called the ISR, the Scriptures. It's called 
uh, 119, blessed, Barak are the perfect in the way who walk in Torah of Yah, whose are those who observe his witnesses, who seek him with all the heart. Yes, they shall do no unrighteousness. They shall walk in his ways. You have commanded us to guard your orders diligently. Oh, that my ways were established to guard your Torah. In the Christian Bibles, it'll say the law, but it's Torah. It, you know, if we want to love the Torah of Yah, just like David, our brother, did, then I would not be ashamed. And that's what we all need to think about, not be ashamed of loving his Torah, you know, and not just allowing people to say, oh, it's you're under the law. It's like, no, it's his commandments. It's his, it's his instructions, just like your father and parents give you instructions. The father gives us instructions. So just want to say that, man. Have a blessed one, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. You're Paul. amazing, brother. Thank You're you, amazing. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, Sister Pam, Shalom, how are you? Hello, Shalom to you as well, brother. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing a blessed. I am so blessed, so blessed. Uh, so good. I got a son now, so I'm great. I need to tell you something. You cannot imagine how happy and surprised I was when you brought your little boy on last week. He has a full head of hair already. Oh my goodness, what a, and big. I mean, he's over nine pounds. That is wonderful. I'm all excited. I'm so happy for you. Hallelujah, and Sister Laura, and your whole family. It's just such a beracha. We just love you. And I would like to share a little bit of scripture here. Um, from <clears throat> It's from Psalm 91, verse 14. Oh, my God. No, she didn't. Oh, my God. Jose, lower, mute yourself, brother, please. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, Psalm 91, verse 14, it's, uh, and this is, um, yeah, it is speaking this, this comes from Yah, it says, because he cleaves to me in love, therefore I deliver him, I set him on high, because he has known my name, because he has known my name. And I was just so blessed, you know, I grew up in, in, in uh, Brantford, Ontario, where we used to say the, the quote, the Lord's Prayer every day at school. And it says, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed, esteemed and highly exalted and highly esteemed is your name. And so my husband and I have been talking about this about how important the Father's name is to him. And we love his name. He has a name. His name is yud heh wau -Hey. And people pronounce it on different ways, like uh, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yahovah, things like that. But we know he has a name. And so we're grateful for that. And um, I would like to share this song. I have permission from the songwriter to sing his song. Uh, Brother Aaron Schust gave me permission to sing his song. So we would like to sing this song, um, Daughters of Zion, hey. Abraham's Sons, Abraham's Sons. So this is for our little, our little new, newbie to the family for Abraham. So here we go. Of Zion, O Abraham's sons, hear the words of your father, hear his promise of love. I will make you a better count 
the stars if you can You will be a great nation I will give you this land I will bring you back home I'll bring you back home, oh my children You will no longer roam Lost and alone in the night There is nothing on earth That could take you away Once I gather you under my wings I will bring Though you've wandered like strangers To the ends of the earth I will send you a savior I will finish my work You have no other shepherd Zion once more I will bring you back home I'll bring you back home oh my children You will no longer roam Lost and alone in the night There is nothing I could take you away Once I gather you under my wings I will bring you all back home So we pray for the peace But we look to the east For the sun rises sudden and fierce I bring Navi and Cohen And sovereign in the city Don't fear, oh my daughters, the sons of Abraham. I will wash you with water. I will offer the lamb. There is sins were like scarlet. They'll be whiter than snow. Always been with you. I will never let go. Hallelujah! I will bring you back home. I'll bring you back home to my children. You will no longer roam lost and alone. Take you away. I will gather you under my wings. I will bring you all back home. Oh, I will bring you all back home again. Yahweh Elohim. Yahweh Echad. Yahweh Elohimu, Yahovah Echad, Yahweh Elohimu, Yahweh Echad, Yahweh Elohimu.
Hallelujah. Thank you, sister. Beautiful. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for your wonderful. super chats, everybody. Thank you for the super chats. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Pam. That's a beautiful song. Uh, Fabi, you have your hand up before we close for the night. Your hand is up, Fabi. Uh, yes, Brother Paul Nilsson, thank you. It is, uh, Sister Dian Pam. Uh, I want to uh, share something uh, before, because before Sister Dian Pam, Colossian 3, part 16, tell about name our our God from Israel, Abba Yahweh, Abba Yahuwah, Yehovah. Before my friend also, uh, Brother Paul, called from Israel before, uh, he tell about the name Yahweh um, in Yah Yahuwah. Yahuwah is more more holy, holy name. What I know from him, that's why I I just can sharing when we say that name, we must uh, really really holy also because th that name is really. I just know from my friend from Israel that. That name is really holy, Yahuwah. We also can uh, talk Yahweh, but Yahuwah is more, more. Uh, he he say more, more holy. Yeah, thank you, brother Paul, sister. Thank you, thank you so much. Wow, thank you. Okay, thank you. Praise Yah, praise Yah. I heard somebody just get in here, but. We're going to have to end up getting to close, but let's see. Brother Marshall, Shalom. Hello? Brother Marshall, Shalom. Shalom, Paul. Uh, how are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Very good, very good. We're about to end here, but uh, I wanted to say hello. Uh, is this your first time on? No, uh, I just haven't been on in a long time. I, I uh, was on a while back under the name XJW Messianic. Yes, yes, yes. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Good, good. Well, thanks for coming on here tonight. Uh, I know we used to go on a little later, but we're closing here now. Uh, we stay on from 8 to 10, but uh, it's good to hear from you, brother. Come back and join us next week. We start at 8 o'clock, okay? Okay, thank you. And then tomorrow we start in the morning, tomorrow at 10.30, we're going to be doing something, 10.30 Eastern time. Okay. Yes. And, uh, well, that's great. Thank you, brother. Anything you want to share before before we go? Uh, no. Okay. Well, great to hear from you, man. All right. And we got a great surprise to close us out to say hello and also good night. Is uh, Sabbath Keepers Fellowship, who I miss so much because uh, uh, the sun's going down too late, but soon it's going to come down sooner and we'll be seeing them every week. Sabbath Keepers Fellowship, Shalom, how you doing? Down at the bottom left. Okay. <clears throat> Can you hear us? We hear you. We hear you. Uh, <laughs> yes. What did you, uh, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> we're we're on, on location. <laughs> on lo <laughs> We turned the camera around sideways. That's all we did. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, welcome everybody. Those lights have, looks like we're taking off. It looks like we're in a red car. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, welcome. It's uh, nice to see you. It's been a while. I pray you are all doing well. And uh, yeah. And I uh, pray you had a nice Shabbat dinner. We did. We had a great one. Yeah, we had salad and potatoes. Salad, potatoes, baked potatoes. Fake potatoes. Mm -hmm. Well, Yahweh has, uh, I, I know you know the news, or you've probably heard the news, but I like to say it anyway. Yahweh's blessed me with a boy. That's what I heard. Hallelujah. Yeah. Abraham Baruch, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, I was t I was told just a few minutes ago. Congratulations. Mazel tov, all that. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Yahweh's amazing. So amazing. I, I didn't know you were up to all that, Paul. <laughs> the raw food. <laughs> oh, Abraham. <laughs> what, Abraham was 90? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. And so, uh, praise Yas, praise Yas. So, uh, what's going on with you? I, now, I when I was going through all this stuff, this has been a crazy two weeks. I got a message from uh, uh, from uh, United and Yah, 
a great message. And I'm so glad that uh, you connected with them. And I haven't spoken to them or gotten back to them in two weeks. So I need mm -hmm. that's on my list for tomorrow to do. But, uh, I, you know, so praise. I'm glad you got in touch with them. So good. Yeah, we've been uh, doing a great job with them. And they have those two events coming up. And that those, they, I guess they want us to be involved in that. That should be a, a big deal. Yes. So I, I got to connect with them. I hadn't spoke to them in two weeks, and I don't know where they are now, but, but uh, yes. But you're those, here. Those are some lovely folks. They are. They are. And uh, yes, but you, you, you're all here now, and you're lovely folks as well, and praise y'all. And we'd love to sit and chat for a long time. But that's, but, a, that's a video for another time, right? <laughs> We actually thought you'd be closed down by now, but uh, I saw the chat was still going on, so we thought we'd just pop in for a minute. We didn't expect you to acknowledge that. We appreciate it. <laughs> that Shabbat Shalom and all that. Well, no, we want to hear a song. <clears throat> I don't even know if we're hooked up. Well, it. just play it a cappello. Uh, I mean, if I do a cappello, you can do a cappello. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, I don't do what you do. <laughs> Let me. Well. Give me a guitar. What do you no, want no, he doesn't need a guitar. Seeky Come on. First, okay, yeah, all right. right. Let's do Seeky first. Well, just Seeky first always works. Yeah. Everybody knows Straight that. Straight out of the oh, mouth yeah. of Messiah. Yeah. You ready? Yep. You all ready? Mm -hmm. This is impromptu. It's going to be <laughs> terrible. Oh. But the words are great. <laughs> See ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Ask and it shall be given. To you, seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise Yah, praise Yah. Hallelujah, absolutely. Well, thank you, and everybody. We're going to be back tomorrow morning at 10:30 uh, a.m. Eastern time for a, a, a Saturday Shabbat reading. And uh, everyone, uh, keep us all in uh, in prayer here. Uh, we need to pray for some sleep. <laughs> and uh, yes, and uh, thank you all for just a blessed night and for being here. And everyone keep each other lifted up in prayer. Uh, there's so many people here that are, are, are seeking prayer, but so many of us are out there doing Yah's work uh, and just uh, proclaiming uh, Yahweh to the world and, uh, and Yeshua and hallelujah. Sister Pam, your hand is up. You want to say something? Oh, no, I guess not. I, I just wanted to... Uh... That's okay. I was going to sing another song, but that's okay. I was so glad to see uh, Shabbat keeper, Sabbath keepers there. So that's. Go fine. ahead. Go sing another song. Sing another Ask song. Ask a question first. When are you going to okay. show us? When are you going to uh, show off your son to us? Huh? 
When are you going to show off your son to us? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, all right. Bar mitzvah. <laughs> when he has a beard. <laughs> yeah, all right. There you go. I don't want to show a clean shaven boy. <laughs> okay, go okay. ahead. I also have permission from this. The, whoops. I have, um, whoops. I have a permission from this songwriter as well. So just, just, um, I have a permission from uh, Yaron to sing his song. Thankfully, he gave me permission, and this is a Shuvalecha. Hallelujah.
was a shoe, a shoe, a something I feel very very badly that I I put something in the side chat here that has caused dissension amongst the brethren uh, when I heard uh, a woman on the on the chat say that it's more holy to say Yahweh than it is to or Yahuwah it's more holy to say Yahuwah than it is to say Yahweh I'm sorry I put it on the side chat um, here and it's caused friction between two sisters and I I feel very sorry I sh I I don't know how to uh, how to uh, say this I don't want arguments um, I just don't I, I just addressed it because I don't think saying Yahuwah is more holy than saying Yahweh it's not more holy in my opinion so I addressed it, and now I feel that I've caused friction between um, two of the women who are on this side chat. Hey, Pam. Forgive me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the pronunciation of uh, the last part of Yahweh, mm -hmm. way, the A sound in, in that is masculine. Right. The A sound is feminine. Yes, that's right. So Yahweh is the masculine. Right, I know. The other way is the feminine pronunciation. I and know. That's explained to us. I know from Hal's Louis scriptures. Yes, I know. But so, two of the two of the women on the side on on the program yeah, here so it's, it's just, uh, got upset and accused me. So I just wanted to try and. But that's why we say smooth. your way. I know. I wanted to try to smooth things on, over. So, so yeah. anyway. Well, a little wow. bit of understanding there. Okay. Well, listen, everybody. Uh, Pam, thank you for uh, you know saying that to clarify that up but uh just everybody just to focus on the blood of yeshua yes uh, amen amen have a peaceful restful shabbat and uh it's okay it's okay to disagree I'm just uh yes i really, didn't want really. to cause any kind of um no, no you didn't you didn't okay all right okay it's just that they got offended so well, i just look, look. <laughs> People are going to get offended no matter what. So, yeah. <laughs> thank but, you so but, much uh, for this. Uh, okay thank you so much, much, Brother Paul. Thank you. Uh, it's okay to disagree, everybody. And uh, just remember, everybody, the blood of Yeshua. And uh, all you all have a blessed night. And uh, praise Yahweh for your blessings. And uh, I and my uh, blessed wife uh, have this newborn, and we're not getting much sleep. And I value my sleep, but I'll tell you, I value a newborn way more than my sleep. <laughs> and uh, I'll take a, a newborn crying over sleep any day. And uh, I just feel so blessed. And uh, and I'm just in awe, just standing there watching my my wife and my newborn. And I'm just like, wow, he yeah, has so great. And uh, he has blessings for all of us. Uh, and there's so much going on around us that we can complain about. But we got to look at the blessings and all the things. So everybody have a blessed night. And uh, Yah be with you all. Thank you for your presence and support. We'll be back, Yah willing, tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. for a morning prayer. So have a blessed night, everybody. And shalom, shalom. Hi, hi. Shalom, brother. Shabbat shalom, brother, sister. Love hey, you. Shalom.